Now, foreign exchange trading has been exploding in popularity, and my next guest is now offering new ways to play the currency game. Here for a CEO sit-down is Dan Cook. He's the chief executive, the CEO of IG Markets. Dan was a senior broker at Global Forex Trading, and before that, he was in charge of wholesale network sales at WorldCom. Good to have you with us, Dan. Great to be here. Can you explain, what, first of all, what is IG Markets? Is it just a broker that specializes in Forex trading? It is a global broker, specializes in Forex trading, particularly here in the States. So globally, we do indices, uh, commodities. Uh, in the States, we not only offer the spot currency market, which is the cash market, but also some unique products through the North American Derivatives Exchange um, to help traders manage their risk. All right, now when you talk about being a a broker in the forex uh, industry what does that mean that means you stand between the customer let's say in this case the retail customer mm -hmm. and big banks that actually have the access to a foreign exchange in essence yes uh, we provide the feed the platform uh, 10 years ago 20 years ago people couldn't participate in this market they couldn't just go directly to the bank without 50 100 million through the internet through the technology now they can have access to the same analysis the same news the same tools um, that the professionals have enjoyed for years, and we offer that connection. All right, but we got to say not necessarily the same results because this is not for the faint of heart. I mean, you can lose as well as make a lot of money in the Forex trading game. You can, and one of the things, like any leveraged market, whether it be futures or Forex, leverage What kind market, of leverage are we talking about typically? Um, 50 to 1. 50 typically to 1. in the U.S., yes. So you can put in $10,000 into an account and you lever that up 50 times. Yep. You, you can do that. That's not recommended. You always want to have good margin practices. And that's one thing that we've seen with the retail trader and where we try to educate, as, as with any other brokerage firm, try to educate our clients to make sure they understand the risk involved because it is a very risky market. Anytime you lever something up 50 to 1, 25 to 1, or even 10 to 1, it's a risky proposition. All right. And you've also got to note that what margin is something that if you're trading on can change your portfolio overnight because this is an overnight market. It's always open. It's always open about five and a half days a week. So basically from Sunday afternoon here in the United States until Friday afternoon, it never closes. And have you seen a growth in retail investors wanting to trade for an exchange? The growth has been amazing. Um, really, the liquidity of the market, it's very easy to get in and out. Um, in futures markets, we can see uh, gaps oftentimes in price. We have that open and close gap. So if you get stuck in a position before the close, you're stuck. You're not getting out. And that can be a lot of danger. With the currency markets, particularly trading the major pairs, Euro, USD, there's a lot of liquidity. Now, again, it goes back to that risk proposition and really understanding that. Where we've really seen our growth is in the options type products that we're offering through the through Nadex, through the North American Derivatives Exchange. Explain that. The options market being the ability to buy and sell options contracts on an, some kind of underlying position. And I guess that what is used to hedge the bet? Um, it can be used as a hedge or an outright speculative play. Um, whether it be currencies, indices, or commodities, clients can come to us, trade on exchange, trade non exchange product. Um, typically, the spot market, very dark pool, don't really know the underlying that well. You can see the prices, but don't know what's going on. Nadex is geared towards the retail trader, and they have what are called binary options as well as bull spreads. Each instrument is fixed risk, and that's the key. You can have the effectiveness of leverage. However, there's a certain floor and a certain ceiling that even if we have another May 6 flash crash, somebody trading a bull spread isn't going to be worried by that. Because in other words, you lose the money that you put in. You know exactly what your total loss might be. You're never going to have to call the wife and tell her the kids aren't going to college um, is the whole essence of these products. And if we look at March 2009 when the Fed came out with the first round of quantitative easing, 200 pip gaps, I mean massive gaps in the markets, or the flash crash, which we still don't know what happened. This gives clients a way to go in. When they enter the deal ticket, the order, they know exactly what they're putting up up front, and they can't lose any more than that. They can never flip upside down in their account. And what about margin in terms of the ability of people to understand margin and realize that margin isn't just losing the money in your account. You can call them and get a margin call for a lot more. And that's true in the spot market. However, on the, on the North American Derivatives Exchange, Nadex, that's not the case. It's a fully collateralized trade, meaning if it's a $100 contract and I buy at 30 I put up 30 you, the seller, put up 70 There's $100 there. It's not margin, it's collateral. The most of that can do is settle at zero, in which case I'd lose my, you lose, you lose I'd lose my $30, $30, but not more than that. And that's really where anybody that's ever had to make as a broker those calls, telling people that, hey, I know you lost $1,000, but guess what, you owe us another two. That's an uncomfortable position. And this, we've really seen a lot of explosive growth. In I want products. to thank you very much, Dan thank Cook, you very coming much. to us as the CEO of IG Markets, shedding some light on trading foreign exchange.